Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, I feel like somebody's going to be in trouble. Um, we've got a leap of faith in reverse. We've got creativity in reverse. Um, I feel like there's somebody out here who's like they've got no good ideas coming to them. I feel like they're having no new opportunities. Um, I'm feeling that uh, her that sorry. Um, I don't want, I, why did I want to say hermit? I'm feeling the fool energy out here in reverse. Uh, whoever this is for, um, it's either you or your person. Man, their life is like a big shut door right now. It's almost like their life has just completely just went on shutdown mode. Um, and I mean like nothing new is coming to this person. Um, but anyway, this reading is for the collective, so just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, right? And thank you so much, everyone. Yeah, look at all of the burdens that they're carrying. Holy cow. This person doesn't even realize that they're not someplace safe, okay? They're not even in a safe zone, um, for real. I mean, look at... Uh, it, it's just, it's appearing to me like they're headed for trouble, big trouble. And I feel like you can sense this too, and you're leaving this person behind um, very, very quickly. You don't want to have anything to do with their burdens. There could be children involved in this too. But this masculine, they're about to drop. Um, I feel like that they're just their life is is about is falling apart or it's about to okay i feel like this is somebody who's entered into a toxic loop like they stayed in some place where they were right and even though it's not safe i feel like um anything can happen to this person at any given moment okay like, I don't know about you, but I wouldn't trust this playground. I just wouldn't trust it. And they shouldn't have trusted it either. And now they're losing. It feels like they're, they're losing their blessings. They feel like they're, um, it almost feels like the divine is just watching them at this point, but not allowing them to have any new opportunities. No creative ideas are going to be working. If this person wanted to start something new, it would fall apart like right away. I feel like this person's been building on the wrong thing. Okay, I feel like this down here, all of this purple and blue, they should have used their intuition and they should have started something new, but they did it. Um, this is building blocks, but it looks like this they don't really know what they're doing. And I feel like there's a karmic individual that this person is with that may be um, trying to, like, I don't know, um, brush something under the rug, okay, is really the feeling that I've got. They seem pretty pleased with themselves, too, because they've managed to keep this masculine where they are. And I'm telling you, things are going to be falling apart. I feel like somebody, uh, this karmic, the reason why they keep holding on to this masculine is because they keep giving him a sob story, okay? Yeah, they keep playing him some kind of sob story out here. Like, oh, you don't want to leave me with the kids. Oh, I need you. Oh, but you can't leave me behind, right? I feel like they may have even some kind of other option here in the background, they they this karmic is so pleased with herself keeping this masculine burden. They they this masculine could have a lot of financial burdens as well. Oh man, they are so stuck, you guys. They are so stuck. You're freeing yourself from this right now. This is your energy collective. Moving on, moving forward, trying to get um, maybe even a location changed, getting out of this environment. 
um, you don't want to have anything to do with what this masculine is stuck in. And I'm telling you, every move they make now is being watched. It's almost like the divine hangs back, just watches this person. They should have gotten on this bus. They should have, this is the spiritual learning bus, okay? The higher learning bus. They should have gotten on this bus and started their um, their lessons. They should have um, started the work on themselves, but they didn't. And now they're stuck, and I feel like there's a karmic individual who's got other options, but they're lying about it. They're keeping it a secret. Discipline. This person could have some mother issues some past trauma. I'm getting the sense that this is a masculine who's had to carry their own burdens for a very long time. I feel like they've witnessed family members get love and receive love, but they didn't. They got the belt, okay? Um, and so maybe this person really doesn't know what genuine love even feels like. They've only had to pick up burdens, you know, a lot of discipline on this masculine, like too much discipline and not enough love. Um, maybe they didn't know how to trust your love, okay? They didn't know how to trust it. I feel like this is you moving on. I'm also feeling like... Um, like they carry this the, the burden of childhood trauma with them. Why am I getting the sense that this person just has a hard time getting love or receiving love from feminine energies? Okay. I feel like um, I feel like they were somewhat abused and neglected as far as love goes and too much discipline, right? I feel like this person, they could have even, you know, been physically abused as a kid, okay? And um, any feminine energies, it's almost like they, this masculine was taught that... Um, the, the feminines around them get whatever they want, but they get abused, and they're taught that that's normal, okay? They're taught that they're the ones who need to pick up the slack, that they need to do whatever the feminines tell them to do, and that's one of the reasons why this person is remaining stuck in a toxic situation, but that was what the divine wanted them to take a look at. They wanted them to, to heal from that um, childhood trauma, I really feel like this person has never experienced love. Only kept They've only been kept in line. And that's why it's easy for this karmic. That's exactly what this karmic is doing. She's treating them just the same way that um, they were treated when they were a kid. And that's all that they know. I feel like you gave them the right kind of love and they didn't know what to do with it. Okay. And now I feel like you're, you're, you're moving on. You want a healthy relationship with someone. You want somebody who looks at love in a healthy way, okay? Yeah, and you're seeing this as something toxic. Yeah, you're avoiding this person. You're, you're getting out of the situation. You're freeing yourself, maybe um, taking yourself to a whole new environment altogether. I feel like, uh, here's the thing, you, you're tired of the stagnancy, and I feel like you've been standing in this position just dribbling a ball, just holding, you know, just keeping everything on hold, keep it, maybe even keeping yourself on hold, wondering if this person is going to come towards you. But I don't think they know what to do with your love, okay? And now you're, here's the thing, you're ready to take your shot, but you're moving into a new life or a new lifestyle. And I feel like there is a masculine that's really sad about this, okay? I feel like they're looking back on you and what happened in the past and how they miss your love. This person feels very lonely. 
you know, they can be in a group of people, but they would still feel really lonely because I feel like they keep all of this pain inside. Uh, they, they may see you as the only one that they can talk to. Maybe you know about this secret. Maybe they've told you about how they were treated as a kid. And I feel like there's a part of them that stays with this karmic because they have some kind of um, trauma bond. Like maybe this karmic sort of went through um, something similar as a child. I feel like it's a, yeah, see, there's so much toxicity, though. It's a, it's a toxic bond. And I feel like this karmic, um, she may, she may know about this person's past and be, um, using that to her advantage, okay, to make, to get money. She just, she stays with this person to get money. This karmic could be a hairstylist, maybe. She may be telling this person secrets as well. I feel like, um, here's the thing. The divine once had this light on for your person. They were trying to expose the truth. They were trying to show this person that they needed to look at their own issues and heal from them in order to have a better life. They were trying to guide this person to get out of a toxic situation. I don't think they're doing that anymore. The light is off. I feel like the divine is done trying to bring exposure and enlighten this person. Now it's completely up to them. Okay, the bus is still waiting for them, but I feel it's more like judgment. They're really watching what this person does now. They're seeing that they're entering into a toxic situation all over again. And this is just how they've been living their life. And meanwhile, I feel like you're being spiritually led out of here, okay? Um, maybe even to a whole new environment or... Um, a whole new, possibly a whole new group of people. Yeah, they were, look at, they were supposed to do their work and they were supposed to leave this toxic situation behind, but they didn't. They never did their work, collective. They never put in the effort. You know, I mean, this is somebody who's mowing this lawn, but they're, look at this shrubbery. They're passing all of this behind, okay? They didn't do any of their work at all. They're just kind of waking up as they always have, carrying um, whatever childhood trauma they've had, okay, um, living their life, going out, working uh, for the wrong person, okay, um, and they, they're just doing what they think is normal, but this is not normal, and they're being used for money. They're only there to make money. This karmic really does not care about them. They'll use that, um, the things that happened to them in childhood, they'll use it against them. Yeah, I feel like it's sick. It's sick. And if the masculine tries to leave, they play the world's tiniest violin. They'll give them this sob story to keep them there. But you can't leave me. I still need you. You know, it's very codependent. You're out here very independent. Um, I feel like you're taking control of your own life here. Okay, you're taking your power back. Look, yeah, you're burying this. It's in the past. It's in the past. And you're moving on. You want something that, you want a connection that's going to be healthy. Okay, not toxic. Yeah, and this is a tower moment. I'm telling you, in the near future, this is going to fall apart. They're building, they're trying to build a solid foundation, okay, with each other. But it's, it's, it's not built to last. It's going to crumble. And you're allowing it to crumble, because what else can you do?
your focus, your main focus now is on yourself and your future, and you're putting the past behind you here. You're burying it. You're done. Yeah, this person has a lot of work to do before they can um, get out of that situation. Clarify this. Yeah. They, and they know it, too. They may get end up getting stuck here in the situation by getting this karmic pregnant. Or this karmic could be pregnant, and it may not even be this person's kid. Because I know they've, they've got other options out here. You, however, are perfectly independent. Okay? You're done. And this person has, they're, they're getting themselves stuck in another toxic loop collective. I can't make it out. Yeah, I feel like spirit is watching them but not really doing anything anymore. They're, they've turned the light off. They've shown them all that they can show them. They've gotten all of the warnings. Everybody is intuitive. This person has gotten the same messages that we've all been getting, and they've chosen to ignore it. And, and their life literally looks like this. This is all they do is carry burdens all day long, not just with this karmic and a family and finances and work, but they're carrying the burdens of uh, deep down inside of everything that they went through as a kid. And I, I kind of am getting the sense that this person was neglected and abused physically, okay? And it messed them up. Their childhood has completely messed them up. And they keep falling for whatever this karmic is, is, says to them. And they just keep falling for it over and over again. They just keep restarting this toxic loop, building on the wrong thing. But I'm telling you, they're going to end up losing a lot out here. Meanwhile, you're moving on, collective. Let's, let's get your advice, okay? This person just didn't know what to do with love. When you gave them love, they did it, it probably scared the crap out of them. I, I'm going to be honest. You know, maybe they felt like they needed some kind of discipline just for being loved. I don't know that it was... Um, it's, it's, this is how they live their life. It was taught to them as a kid. All right, so what advice do you have for my beautiful collective? And that was something that you probably could have healed within them. You could have taught them that, um, that they're deserving of love too, right? But they turn their back on you for someone who um, just wants to use them. I feel like they may want to they may want to talk to you but I feel like this is more like you. I feel like this is your energy, speaking your truth, right, and moving on. Maybe you said something to this person or you could have just done it for yourself, you know, um meditated on it and said goodbye energetically to this person, but I feel like that's what you're doing. And you know, honestly, you may even already know about everything that they went through as a kid. I really am getting the sense that they were taught to give everything they could to the feminine energies and they are not deserving of love. That's what they were taught. That's what they were taught as a kid. It's really sad, actually. And I feel spirit really tried all that they could um, to get this person to heal. Okay, but they just didn't. They just wouldn't do it. Um, you're ready for a new beginning here. Yeah, I feel like you're moving forward. Here's the thing, though. You're, you're pointed towards something from your past. I feel like you're saying some prayers for this person. Maybe that's what this is, meditating and praying to God. You know, I have to go now. I have to leave this connection behind. But please, please, um... Please help this person because you. I feel like you know what they need to heal from. 
and now you're you're open and ready to receive something new okay the divine holds you in high regard too because you know what when you were hurt when this person betrayed you for this karmic and i feel like they've done this over and over again i don't know why i'm getting that feeling but um, because they keep re-entering into a toxic loop, I think. But when they did this to you, you didn't you didn't try to get any kind of revenge. Um, you didn't retaliate. You didn't um, go chasing after them. You know, um, you didn't try to control the situation. You prayed for this person, didn't you? You prayed for them. You you prayed for this person to be enlightened, for them to do their work, and for them to break free from a toxic situation. Maybe at one point you even told them, dude, you're going to get used, you're going to be cheated on, you don't know what you're doing, you, you're going to get stuck in something toxic. You could have told them that, spoken your peace, said a prayer, and now you're done with that. Because I see you ready now, releasing this connection and starting something new open to receive you're in receiving mode what did i say on the bottom of the deck new life new life and when you left this person behind you weren't angry i feel like you've had lots of time to work on yourself and heal and forgive you said a prayer for them and that's, that's one of the reasons why you're about to be very blessed. And in both of these pictures, you're held on a, on a pedestal. Boy, does the divine love you for that. They love you for that collective. Okay, for whoever this is for. All right, one more card for my beautiful collective. I got two here. Chaos and Conflict. Yeah, see, you don't want any more drama. You don't want any more chaos. You can feel, too, the vibrations all around you, what this person is going through, where they are. It, it, it seems like it's nothing but chaos and conflict, okay? And this person is the one carrying all the burdens for, for all of this. Um, I feel like you're in a place of peace, all right? You're very calm. You're picking up on maybe their energy as well, so... Um, yeah, I feel like you, you just know, you have this inner knowing of what's going on with this person, but you're leaving this behind. You are, it's time to go, you know, it's time to go. And I feel like the divine is, um, is, is you know, they're, they're doing that too. Like I said, they've turned off the light for this person. They once had, they once had them. Uh, it, it, the spirit was exposing this. They were making them look at themselves, okay? Showing them the truth about the situation, but this person just keeps ignoring it. They just keep picking up more and more burdens for this karmic. And so, you know, I feel like the divine is just standing out or sitting out here watching, and you're releasing and moving on. Yeah. Wow, I feel like this is a situation that's coming to an end. Um, and honestly, I mean, what else are you going to do? You know, you can't stay in stagnancy forever. And the divine wants you, look, they're sending you blessings because of how you've handled this situation. So it's time for you to start a new cycle in your life and you're moving forward without this person in it. Anyway, collective, listen, that's what I've got for this quick message. I do hope this helps.